I figured out how strong Noelle would have to be to perform a hammer throw with Coco. We'll start with how big Coco is, and end with how much force Noelle has to generate to throw the big dragon. To figure out Coco's length, I use Noelle's height as a reference. As you can see from these measurements, Coco is much bigger than any living reptile. She's over 74 meters long. She's twice the size of the largest living creature, the blue whale. Coco has wings, but we cannot use something small and light like a Canada goose to calculate her weight. This is because her bones would be crushed underneath the weight of her muscles and organs. Gravity limits the size of land animals to what their skeletons can support. The ocean's buoyancy spares marine mammals of this limitation. Therefore, we need a formula that scales her body weight with the capacity of her skeleton to support her. Granted, a real animal Coco's size could not exist on land. It disobeys physics fundamentals such as the square cube law. This is a mythical creature, so let's suspend this belief and say it's fine. There's also no way that Coco could fly, so we're just gonna assume she uses magic. What looks most similar to Coco's shape and size are the largest dinosaurs. They have round midsections, big legs, and long tails. A couple examples are the Spinosaurus and Argentinosaurus. Coco is still larger than these behemoths, but that's the best starting point we have. So I wondered, how are all these scientists coming up with mass estimates for extinct dinosaurs? Turns out, they've discovered a pretty reliable method for estimating body mass. It's a formula that hinges on the circumference of bones in their front and hind legs. These bones are the humerus in the front and femur in the back. I've linked the research paper in the description for those who are curious. Because we can't actually see Coco's femur, this was the biggest guesstimate I had to make. I've included the range of possibilities for her body weight. Coco has a high body mass because, as we all know, she has extra thick thighs. If that's something you're into, why not like and subscribe? It's my job to cover waifus of all shapes and sizes. You might object, whoa, 161,000 metric tons is way too heavy for a dragon. But it's really not that unreasonable. Godzilla weighs upwards of 90,000 metric tons in some iterations. Coco is a bit shorter than him, but she must just have thicker thighs. Even though she has four legs, I made the assumption that she only stands on her back too. Otherwise, her mass would be even greater according to this formula. So, we know Coco's mass. Now we need to figure out the speed Noelle is throwing Coco. After multiple calculations, I figured out that she threw Coco over Mach 9. That's hyperspeed, folks, and more than nine times the speed of sound. So, these rings you see are indeed her breaking the sound barrier. That's more difficult close to the ground due to air resistance, but with that thick body moving at over Mach 9, it's no problem. Now for the big reveal! How strong is Noelle? Turns out, she's throwing Coco with 3.68 megatons of force. That's the power of a hydrogen bomb. Here are some feats of other characters for comparison. Growing a massive head of broccoli in an instant. We can actually use this broccoli to get a general idea of mobs absorbing limits. Broccoli typically requires 143 kilojoules of energy to grow one tenth of a kilogram's worth. Scaling this giant one to the nearby buildings, we found it to be 21 million times larger than the average broccoli. This means mob must have transferred enough energy to equate to about 1.6 megatons of TNT. Yeah, like that time Zoro fought a literal living mountain man named Pika and sliced him clean in half. A strike so powerful it didn't just cut through Pika, it sent his top half flying upward. Considering Pika's enormous size and approximate mass, this strike had to have been more powerful than the first ever deployed hydrogen bomb, the 11 megaton Castle Romeo. And together they pushed it back up to its rightful place. This means Raven lifted more than half of the island's weight. The Titan's Tower Island is similar in location and size to Alcatraz, which has a width of 559 yards. Assuming the most likely granite composition and accounting for a 30% hollow interior, Raven's energy output would need to be about 14 million megawatt hours. What did we learn? Well, Noelle can already really swing with the best of them, and she didn't seem to break a sweat. She can also apparently freely move through the vacuum of space, and she punched the Hololive office into Mars from an unknown location in two seconds. It's possible she is far faster and stronger than the feat we just examined. I'm really excited to see if Noelle will have even more impressive feats in Hololive Alternative. 
Oh, as a side note, we also know Coco is durable enough to survive a 3.68 megaton force. It wouldn't surprise me if some Hololive members end up being stronger than the main characters of most franchises. You may have noticed that I didn't account for air resistance. I wasn't sure how to get the drag coefficient for Coco shape. Doing so would increase the estimate of Noelle's force output. If you're good at physics, you can leave a comment factoring that in. I have provided a link to my work in the description. A big shout out to my brother for pointing me in the right direction regarding which formulas to use for this problem. I also really appreciate my mom and him sitting down with me and helping me figure out how to approach it. This theory has been an excellent learning experience for me and I hope you guys have also enjoyed it. This has been Waifu Theory, bravely analyzing your favorite waifus so you can watch without worry. If you enjoyed, you might also want to join my Discord. See you next time.